Hello Taurus, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you guys your quick general reading. I hope you all had a great day today. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future and it may or may not resonate with you. Also, make sure that you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel so that you'll be notified when I do your future updates. We are still currently having a Zodiac contest. So whatever Zodiac sign watches my channel the most, the most views will get a bonus read. There's also some very important information on the community page, so make sure you guys take a look at that. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, or if you want to get some manifestation crystal jewelry, the information will be in the description box below. Alright, so I've already prayed and meditated over your energy tourists. So we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me during these channel messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please return all negative energy back to sender tenfold. And anybody showing me love, much love and light to you and yours. All right. So let's tap in and see what we have for Taurus. Spirit, what is it that I need to communicate with the sign of Taurus? So Taurus, the overall energy is cycles. So there's definitely something that hasn't changed. There's a cycle that's happening. It could go one of two ways. There could either be positive changes coming through here. Or someone is wanting to break a cycle here. So definitely picking up energy of a wake-up call, a spiritual awakening, some sense of enlightenment when it comes to breaking the cycle. This could have something to do with work or working too much. Oh, this could have something to do with money. Okay, so someone wants to break the cycle of not having enough money. This is definitely someone who wants to be able to afford to do what it is that they want to do. I'm picking up energy of taking someone out. Someone in this situation is very obsessed. There's a lot of chemistry, insane chemistry, how about? I'm definitely picking up the energy of someone that can't keep their hands off someone else. Very touchy Philly intimate energy here. This is definitely a situation where someone is wanting to take out a person, take them out on dates, buy them food, drinks, or whatever the case may be. But there's a situation where funds are tight. It could be due to holidays. It could be due to bills. It could be due to, you know, decreased hours at work, whatever the case may be. Yeah, some of you all could be going out with friends, right? Maybe to the club or somewhere where you can hear music. Some of you guys could be into making music. I'm definitely picking up the energy of baby mama, baby daddy issues. So this could be a situation where the baby mama or the baby daddy, uh, you know, child support, you know, custody battles, family issues, whatever it is, just drama. This person, I'm picking up the energy of a baby mama or a baby daddy being in somebody's pocket. And this is the reason why they don't have the ability to take somebody out on dates or they're having money issues because of this. So this could be a situation where, like, for example, the baby mama is not working right now or doesn't have any money 
And this person could be trying to manage their life as well as their baby mama issues, child support, whatever the case may be. But this is definitely energy of lack of funds. I'm seeing that there's someone that wants to do things like get suites, you know, get a sweet hotel suite, travel, right? Go somewhere special. I'm definitely picking up a lot of hot and heavy energy. Somebody could have a baby mama or a baby daddy that's obsessed with them. Definitely picking up a lot of sex, uh, hotel energy, shit like that. I'm also picking up the energy that someone may want to make something fish official, but they got baby mama drama, money issues, all type of shit going on. Hmm. This could be a factory worker, forklift driver, blue collar worker. Yeah. There's an ex here. And I don't know if this is a separate ex or this baby mama, baby daddy energy. But there's definitely somebody that is wanting someone else back. They're realizing that they're the only one. They've grown a, an obsession for this individual. So this is definitely someone that's not currently in the picture. That's obsessing over someone here. Hmm. What else for tours? I definitely feel that a door is closed with an X here. But I'm definitely feeling the energy of still craving sex, still craving intimacy, still craving alone time. Hmm. This is, I'm picking up energy of just moving too fast, not tasting things. Could be in regards to sex or even money. Also, drinking and smoking is here. Yeah. Someone is not understanding. They kind of don't want to hear shit out at this time. This could be in regards to this ex. So, there could have definitely been a situation where someone just did some foul shit. And it's like, it's a done deal. This person could be a very much so energy vampire or a manipulator. And that chapter is just completely closed. But this person seems to still be obsessing here. Yeah. Someone is ready to break a cycle and a connection with the baby mama, baby daddy. There's something that they want to see on the other side of the door. So someone wants to walk into a new opportunity here. This could be a situation where someone meets someone at a nightclub or meets someone out with their friends. Hmm. Yeah, so, hmm, I'm going to just be honest here, okay? Somebody is definitely still involved, and it could definitely be with the baby mama, baby daddy. This is more of the reason why they feel obligated to take care of things financially, and why they can't take the person that they like out on dates or to get hotels or to travel or whatever the case may be. This could be someone that's resisting change. Put yourself wherever you fit in this story here. Yeah, this is someone that resists this change. Spirit is saying that they need to move forward. So somebody could definitely need to move forward from a baby mama, baby daddy, 
or this could be someone on the outside that's not aware that this person is still involved that needs to move forward. Okay? Yeah. Somebody wants someone to allow them access to their body, sexually, intimately, all of the above. Yeah, somebody is very sorry in regards to something that happened at a hotel or a hotel party or something in regards to an obsession with a different person. This could be an ex-lover or someone that you may have just connected with. Yeah, somewhere in, the, in this equation is a homebody here. They really just kind of are routine. They go to work, go home. This could be someone that likes to cook, likes to eat, likes massages. Someone is kind of grounded. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, someone could have got invited over by an ex for dinner. They could have got a phone call or something of that sort, like, hey, come over, you want to have dinner, let's talk, let's hang out, let's drink, let's smoke, let's party. Somebody got invited to come to, yeah, confirmation. Yeah, somebody got invited to come to someone's home. Someone that they were connected to from the past. I'm picking up the energy of this could be the person that you, somebody had a bad date with. You guys could have had a disagreement or an argument or something just went wrong on some type of occasion that you all connected. Hmm. Someone saw someone at some point as marriage material, but they feel a lot differently now. Seven of Swords energy here when I said that. Someone feels like someone is completely deceitful. They lie, they cheat, they betray, they try to get away with things. Yeah. Karma is definitely coming back around here. So whoever sits in this spot of deceit, lying, not being completely honest, they're going to face major karma here. Yeah, there's definitely a one-sided connection. This could have went left. Like, there could have been a date or a conversation or something of that sort that went left, made someone feel like they, you know, that this wasn't a situation where two people were compatible. It was one-sided. Somebody felt like someone else was selfish in this equation here. This is what's pushing this person to move forward and experience the unknown, focus on something new here. You got the strength card, um, which is Leo energy. Someone is having courage to move forward. They feel like they're overstaying their welcome. They definitely feel like it may be a baby mama or something in the equation or baby daddy controlling the situation. Children could play a part of this issue. Could be custody battles or child support, something. What are they sorry about? What is this person sorry about? What are they sorry about? They're definitely sorry for not making things fair. For not speaking their truth. Um, they definitely know that something that they did caused this disconnect. This is an energy of wanting to make something right, obsessing over someone, right? But I don't know if I trust this energy. Spirit, tell me more. 
tell me more, spirit. Somebody could definitely be in their head a lot. Um, definitely very stressed or losing sleep due to some type of unexpected change. You got the King of Cups energy. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be this homebody or the person that they're inviting over. Or this is just someone that the door is closed with. It's an ex or something of that sort. There's someone that's giving someone advice. Um, this could be a friend, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're trying to give them some type of wisdom or advice to balance their emotions or to try to make something right. Some sort of betrayal. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as I said some sort of betrayal, you guys got three cards here. You got the Three of Cups reverse. You have the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Swords reverse. So the Three of Cups reverse could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Picking up a lot of Cancer energy. They're very sorry. Someone's very sorry for their disloyalty, their betrayal. The rejection, right? They know that someone felt neglected. This is cheating energy. This could be someone talking to their friends about cheating or about something that they did. Yeah, this is de definitely Three of Cups energy. Is This is a one-sided connection because there's cheating, there's lying, there's gossiping here. Picking up a lot of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This could have something to do with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A uh, person that you're dealing with. Or this could be you. This person is gossiping about somebody being naggy. Or suffocating them. Or smothering them in some kind of way. They could also be gossiping about somebody else wanting a relationship this could be a leo energy with the three of swords reverse here there's definitely a sense of releasing having the courage to release something and persevere so there's a sense of accepting things here um, the way that they are and releasing someone is definitely going to be left out in the cold with the five of pentacles up right here picking up Taurus energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn mainly Taurus there's a sense of a financial loss which I picked that up with the money issues here yeah someone is definitely worried about money um, this baby mama energy could be Leo, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got the Six of Swords. Things are definitely moving forward here. There's a transition. There's a change, a sense of healing, and escaping a heartbreaking you know, a heartbreaking situation here. Could be with a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Someone that's coming off as stubborn. Very authoritative, but just obsessed with money, right? Yeah, somebody is very unstable when it comes to finances at this time. They're really having a hard time. They could be waiting on money or there's delays. Definitely feel the energy of waiting on money. Could be waiting on a paycheck. Could be waiting on someone to pay them back. Or just waiting for things to grow. Picking up the energy of someone who's very afraid of change. 
So this person always finds a way to manipulate the situation. It's like they have an issue with stepping into their power and taking control and speaking their truth and just being direct, right? This is energy to me that's like, um, it's like a lack of someone being a man or a woman about their word. Poor planning, right? Delays, illusions, manipulation energy. Cycles. So this is something that's happened more than once. When it comes to getting an offer or receiving an offer of some sort. Someone is walking away. Yeah. Because they're overwhelmed with a situation. They're very exhausted. Um, there's a lack of compromising. And someone is really honestly feeling like giving up here. Definitely picking up Leo energy here with this with the strength card or Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. Someone is definitely following their intuition. They're overwhelmed. They feel like the situation is just too stressful and they're definitely losing hope. I'm definitely seeing a sudden breakthrough here with the Tower card. There's going to be some sudden changes. A spiritual awakening or a revelation or something, a disaster, something's going to blow up and cause this release. Definitely could be revolving around a mother figure or Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone was moving very slow when it comes to giving an offer, making a commitment. Or something of that sort. Somebody in this equation um, is definitely having a new beginning that's very abundant and fruitful. There's many opportunities coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles. There's a sense of getting a new beginning and it just happening out of manifestation. There's going to be a firm foundation built here around money and stability. I'm honestly feeling like here with the Queen of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Oh, you can't make this shit up now. You got the Page of Swords reverse. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Emperor reverse. So the page of swords reverse is speaking about someone being a player, manipulative, reckless, careless, right? All talk, no action. And I was picking up lack of, I was picking up someone having the lack. Like they, uh, they don't have the ability. See, I can't even find the words. They don't have the ability to speak their truth. Yeah. This is definitely a player. They move very recklessly. So there was definitely some direct communication um, when it comes to boundaries. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is just, yeah, they're, they're embodying this energy here. This is a very in intelligent, feminine energy for me. This card means clear boundaries, direct communication, right? This is someone who's very protective and encouraging and inspiring, very intelligent individual who's able to see things from multiple perspectives, but very non-negotiable when it comes to setting clear boundaries. And the reason why these boundaries needed to be set is because we got the Emperor in reverse, which is a, a very much so control hall. This is someone that likes to dominate a situation. They cause chaos, right? They have a lack of discipline. This is someone that's very immature. They don't know how to handle their emotions. 
there's a lack of stability and a lack of strength in the Emperor Reverse here. And so there was definitely some direct communication in regards to that that was spoken on. Okay. All right, Spirit, so let's pull some channel messages for Taurus. Somebody just wanted to be respected, right? Somebody really likes oral sex here. I'm picking up a, a masculine energy. They want to play. They want to get together and have sex. Definitely specifically oral sex. Somebody feels like somebody has very sexy moans. I'm picking up that energy a lot. So someone could like the way you sound or you them when you guys are intimate. Could have been a lot of drunk sex here in this connection. Um, guys could have went out for drinks. Or maybe you just have the best fun, freakiest sex when you drink, when you guys drink together. Definitely picking up that energy. But there's competition here. There's definitely third party energy that I'm picking up. Sexy Moans is here twice. Somebody really likes the sound. They replay that in their head over and over again for some reason. They they really like the way somebody sounds during sex. Hmm. All right, what else to wrap this up for tourist spirit? All right, yeah, someone's definitely healing their heart from a heartbreak. They're freeing themselves from toxicity. There's some type of bondage here, and this person just doesn't want to go through it anymore. It seems as though when they're healing their heart, they're going to be invited out to have a conversation or to link up or whatever the case may be. All right, I want to pull one more card for y'all. Yeah, somebody definitely needs the courage to change here. There's a lot of pride and ego in this connection, most definitely. And a lot of deception here. All right. So, Taurus, that's, that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video or, or if it resonates, hit the like button. Also, subscribe so that you'll be a part of our family and you'll get the notifications for future reads. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.